right here now with host Reginald Niedermeyer on the phone. Hey, 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 it's Reggie Niedermeyer here with the Funny Apron Hour. I Summer and I CEO enough. Eric Niedermeyer of Vincini Cosmetics. Eric. Please tell us how these Paper Mache people have come to be created. Well, really, uh, I, as you know, Dr. Jack Reesummer is the genius behind all this. All I know is that it has to do with paper, water, uh, some kind of human DNA stem cell, and like radiation or something like that. Well, so if they are made out of water, what would happen if, uh, you know, an accident happened or something and water splashed up onto one of these things and, things and uh, another element such as iron, copper, or something like that? Could it fuse in with the paper mache? That is a very good question. Um, I, myself, am not too sure, but maybe we should uh, bring this to Dr. Resummer's attention. Since he's still, still here in the studio, we will go ahead and bring him back up here, and we'll ask him that ourselves. Well, um, that's a very good question. The question that, that both of you have for me, what would happen if another element were introduced during the... during the <laughs> Another element were introduced during the creation of these paper mache people? Quite frankly, it hasn't been done yet, but I've thought about introducing steel or copper or some other element into the equation. And on an experimental basis, uh, it's possible. It may be that enhanced paper mache people could be created through that process. And that's just something that we'll have to be experimented with. Thank you very much. 